lot. <laughs> and, you know, talking to my dad and talking to my family members, and it just seems like there's so much turmoil that's all around us. You know, this COVID thing doesn't ever seem to want to go away. It seems like it's getting worse. And it's just on every hand, it seems like the enemy is at work. But what if that's the new norm? What if that doesn't change? Because in our minds, we're thinking that, Lord, you know, when we get over this, when this passes us by, but we understand what the Bible teaches concerning end times and latter days. And I'm not teaching gloom or doom. But what I'm saying to you is, because of the God that lives on the inside of you, you have the propensity, you have the capacity to change your world around you for the better. You hear me? When there's darkness around you and you are the light, your light should shine and make that darkness go away. My point is, don't allow the darkness that's around you to get inside of you to make you what it is. You understand? You continue to let your light shine for Jesus. Despite what's going on around you, despite what somebody did or what somebody said, because you are the light of the world. And we have a responsibility to let that light shine for Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. I want you to get some joy in your spirit, man. Before we do these confessions, I want you to think about the fact here today that you are healthy, that you are wealthy, that you are spiritually enlightened. I want you to think about the fact that because of the breath that's still in your lungs, you have the ability to impact somebody's life to the glory of God. Amen. Just because of something you might say. Amen. And that's a good reason. Remember your purpose for being in the earth. There is a reason that you're here. Amen. Amen. Lord. Put some power, some dunamis, some authority behind what you say. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. Sins of commission. Sins of omission. I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Over my life. Over my children. Over my family, over my home, over my finances, over my body, over my mind. I glad that this day is not about me, it's about Jesus. And I lift his name, the name of Jesus.
just a praise and a miss your church. And I, I just come out and tell you, don't ever forget to praise him.
making you think you're gonna die before you die. But I come to tell you that David said, God has shown me the path of life. In my presence there is the fullness of joy. And at thy right hand there are pleasures of the Lord. I come to tell you you're gonna live and not die. Yes, COVID ain't gonna have the last word. Diabetes ain't gonna have the last word. Cancer not gonna have the last word. But God, he's got the last word in Isaiah. Isaiah 55, it says that he was wounded for my transgressions. Yes, he was. He was bruised on my iniquities and the chastisement of my pieces of him. With his son, with his stripes, I am healed, I am healed. And it says in the book of Kings, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and, and the glory to the rising of the sun. When my enemies shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yeah, yeah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And it says that the word of God. It's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the divine of thunder, of soul and spirit, and joints and marrow is a discerner of the thorn, and it tips up the heart. You're covered from head to toe. I just come to tell you, no evil shall befall you. He is telling me, "Please come near your brother." He sent his word and it healed him of every disease all of their destructions. And I'm exalting my word.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. There are concerns, amen, in the, in the body of Christ, in the world. I'm going to let y'all get you by. Let's go. There are many concerns, and for people who don't know what to do, there is something to do. When all fails, you got to trust Jesus. Amen. I told my wife, I said, now, things are getting crazy. You know, the more and more I dig and the more and more I do research on historical things concerning our faith and our belief, I get, I 